Talking Oklahoma land values now, OSU Extension Ag Economist Roger Saws has a few updates this week. Good morning. The land value website has been updated to include the 2023 data and thanks and appreciation goes to the Farm Credit Associations of Oklahoma for helping out with that effort. Well, really in a nutshell, the land markets here in Oklahoma grew at a modest pace last year. Certainly nothing like what we saw in 21 and 22 when we saw really some robust growth in the real estate markets. Uh, it grew about uh, about 2%, doesn't seem like much, but uh, you know, I think the land markets very reminiscent of the real estate uh, from residentials and commercial real estate. They're facing some pressure from those increased interest rates and those higher interest rates just uh, make it more difficult and more expensive to finance some of these parcels that come up on the market. So then when we move into say the cropland areas of the state, it also modest, uh, some modest increases in those uh, values last year, about 2% across the board. And it's facing uh, some headwinds on their own. I think some lower commodity prices that we experienced in 23 last year and a continuation of those lower commodity prices have played a factor uh, in putting sort of a lid on those uh, values as we march forward through this year. So I, I see a mostly sideways motion in the markets, especially if we continue to see these lower commodity prices in the grain and fiber markets come into play. Now in the pasture land markets, a little different story. Uh, they have been supported from the strong cattle markets and those cattle markets have lent some increased earnings and some increased revenues for a number of producers out there. And I think that along with some positive factors such as some adequate hay supplies and, and some good forage growth conditions, they will all lend some support to the pasture land markets moving forward. And so I think for the remainder of this year, we'll experience something very similar to what we experienced last year, about a 7% growth, something in that uh, neck of the woods for the remainder of this year. So really, that's a, a brief summary of the land markets here in Oklahoma. I would encourage you to check out our website for the latest trends and patterns. For more information, go to sunup.okstate.edu.